Everybody, welcome to some Star Wars Jedi Outcast, and we're going to be playing this on Jedi Master, so let's get started. So, uh, you're probably wondering why there's no music right now. This is going to be a run without any music, uh, because the good folks at Disney and SME uh, like to mute videos so you don't get reminded of Star Wars at all. So, to be honest, you're not missing much with the music. Uh, I mean, if you've seen any Star Wars music... I'm pretty sure that your head is basically just filling in uh, what, what what's supposed to be <laughs> happening right now with the music. So, I guess uh, this game I've played actually a long time ago. I, I liked it a lot when I was a kid. I actually thought that this game actually got really got the lightsaber stuff down. And it was actually really good. And the gunplay is actually pretty good too, ex with some exceptions. Uh, but it's overall a pretty good game. Uh, one of my favorites, though. Definitely one of my favorites. So I'm, I'm glad to be showing it off for you guys. Unfortunately, yeah, as I said, we, we got to turn off the music for this just before, uh, uh, just in case uh, YouTube has a, a fit. Because it seems to change all the time because Disney bought Star Wars and, I don't know, it keeps changing. So I'm not going to complain about it much. I'm just going to uh, talk, I guess, about uh, the new Star Wars movie and what I think about that. Probably sometime during this LP. But, um... I guess, uh, I guess these scrolling credits are basically done. Preparing for final approach. Whatever's causing those transmissions, it's not showing up on any of the sensors. This Imperial outpost looks as abandoned as reported. It's as dead as the rest of Kedjum. Mon Mothma must be getting paranoid. She never used to send pros like us out on blue milk runs like this. Kyle, Jam, greetings. Mon Mothma, Kyle was just talking about you. No doubt. I bring troubling information about your mission on Kedjim. I hate it when you say troubling. We've managed to decode a small fraction of the transmission we intercepted earlier, and... Well, listen for yourselves. I will fire. We may have to use the Valley of the Jedi. Reborn warrior. The Valley of the Jedi? Reborn? We believe this transmission was intended for Galak Fire, the suspected leader of the remnant forces in that sector. It's probably nothing more than a couple of soldiers telling tales around the glow lamp. But as you are the only survivors of the Valley of the Jedi incident, I thought it only fair to warn you that this mission may be more dangerous than we originally anticipated. Your objectives, however, remain the same. Find out what you can, clear out any remnant forces you encounter, and may the Force be with you. <laughs> so much for the blue milk run. I think I saw someone. Hi, right, welcome to the game. Uh, as you can see, I'm not, I'm not like Kyle Katarn with a lightsaber or anything or force powers. I'm just regular Kyle Katarn. Uh, this is my last day on this ship. Oh yeah, where are you moving? Sector 7 had an opening, so I applied. Oh, uh, bad. Should be a quiet last day. Should be a quiet last day. Uh, so let's get started with the Briar Pistol. Great. So this weapon is actually like really difficult to aim. I need to mention that. What a but mess! We got this one. Hello, Jan. Uh, so generally speaking, I used to I like to use the bear pistol for a long range thing when someone's standing still. The projectile is really wonky in this game. I I don't like it. The blaster pistol is your close range thing, and you just use the right fire, which I'm sure you'll get to see in a minute. Also, we're playing on the very hardest difficulty, which is um. Essentially going to be the equivalent of me quick saving constantly and loading. Uh, at least for the first couple of missions because we have no health sustain at all. I, mean, I just signed myself up for a world of pain. It's going to it's going to be great, guys. This difficulty. But um, it's it's going to be okay. So I, I think I was continuing. Yeah, so why does Kyle have no force powers or anything right now? Because this takes place two There's years. Oh my, like even at close range, it's like no good. That's one less problem to deal with. Or I'll shoot. Ah, 
but if you're really good at aiming, you can hit some. You can hit them sometimes. You can see how like inaccurate this thing requires. Basically, Kyle is a fucking badass. That was close. Also, Jan can die, so I have to be careful. Get him. Like, like th this this weapon is completely negated by circle strafing. That guy, that guy's standing still so he can die. Blasters aren't going to do much good against that. I'll see if I can find a way to get the door open. Wait here, Jan. Kyle. Okay, so... Kyle basically... Uh, well, oh, enemies. Okay, I'm hoping Jan doesn't die right now. Okay, good, she didn't die. Uh, like a, a, oh yes, the, the shadows. Okay, so the uh, the reason why Kyle doesn't have any force powers. Basically, the the story goes: this is two years after I think the original uh, Jedi Knight game that was before this, uh, Dark Forces Two Jedi Knight. And this the is like usually has pretty tight security. Make sure you search any officers for key cards. We have also have a shield, but yeah, we have like basically hundred effective health. So yeah, so he basically fought. Um, after fighting Jerk, basically the cannon goes, he essentially kind of dabbled in uh, the dark side and basically it almost killed him. And he really didn't like that, so he basically kind of like, I guess, rejected the force. And so, I don't know how you can do that, I assume that becoming a Jedi Knight is like riding a bike, you know? But, uh, so he basically lost all his force powers and, and stuff because he didn't want to be a Jedi Knight anymore. Because uh, he didn't like dabbling in the dark side. By the way, I'm gonna actually show you guys uh, something right here that you may not have noticed or may be wondering if you've played this game before. Uh, like this. This is gonna be a cutscene right here when I open this. Perimeter defenses online. Did that do it? Huh? No, but you managed to get everyone's attention. <laughs> so, oh, that guy went down there. Yeah, this weapon is really difficult to use. Alright, we got him. Alright, Jen's okay. Um, so, you saw, like, the black bars appear. That's actually how cutscenes appear in, that, in this game. Um, uh, the thing is, I'm playing this in 1080p. This game was made in an era where, uh, widescreen was not a thing. Uh, so, all the cutscenes are actually designed around, uh, like, the 4x3 resolutions. Uh, and so, it actually cuts, uh, in all the cutscenes, it cuts off the heads of characters and things like that. And why did I go back here? I need to go back down. And so what I'm actually doing is I'm doing some really nice special editing techniques of uh, actually just re-recording the cutscenes in a 4x3 resolution, cutting out the, the black bars, and then you get to see the good cutscenes. Uh, I'm doing this all manually. Oh, Jen. Kyle. It's, uh, just telling us, oh, we just shoot the door. Well, that's one way to do it. So that's kind of the story uh, so far. So we're just kind of like, we got the remnant and we're just kind of killing them. Um, I don't even know if the story really matters to any of you anymore, if you really keep up with any of the, the Disney-ish Star Wars stuff, because apparently, according to them, Kyle Katarn is a cannon. Stay here, Jen. Cover our back. Okay, I'll wait here. Don't take all day. Oh. I almost killed myself. I think I'm trying to go over here. Yeah. Cover our back, Jen. Give up. Can't oh no. Get him. Okay, I think Jan's just dying upstairs. Him. Get him. I think Jan's dead. That was close. Oh no, that was close. Okay, we're all good. Yeah, so Jan could just die, so that's not not a very good thing for me. I, I kinda found the uh alternate way. We're under attack! Send reinforcements! Shit, he's about to die. Get him. I may have opened too many doors. Okay. Instead of Jan being dead, I'm dead. Because she kind of just kind of ran out in the open there. Alright, we gotta go back down, it looks like. Because, okay, if you don't believe me, Lark, she's dead. <laughs> and I, I face bump. So that's, that's, this is the problem. She was kind of, I, I guess she got aggroed onto like one of the guys that I was uh, trying to kill down there. 
So, yeah, going back to what I was saying before. Yeah, so uh, Disney decided none of this is canon, so. Stay here, Jim. Cover our back. Okay, I'll wait here. Don't take all day. You can't make me do anything. Yeah, now that guy didn't get aggroed this time. This is like Unreal Engine or something like that. Like some, I don't know, particular version of it. Uh, like this is, uh, actually the, the shadows I was showing you earlier. I'm not sure if you can see, no, you can't see my shadow right now. Uh, also, we're totally going to use a sun button now, because I'm pissed. Keep an eye out for those rebels. Uh, let's just let's just start with this door. Okay. Oh, that wasn't the door. Right. I think they just scripted to all open, which is fan fan tastic. Here we go. This is like every every laser possible is missing. In the I'm gonna hang out here a while and see what kind of trouble I can cause. Thanks, Jan, for helping me out here. Always a pleasure, never a chore. Like I'm just I see my crosser on him and nothing hits. Don't don't worry, the, these weapons actually are just terrible. They get better. But now we know why stormtroopers can't hit anything. Honestly, the Briar Pistol isn't hitting either. Grab him. Grab who? So I just kind of used a back to tank right there. That's why, like, you heard me just kind of like have a mini orgasm. It's kind of what a back to tanks do. No, it's like uh. I don't know why these guys didn't hear all the commotion in the hallway there. Still, guy back here. Right. Uh, so like the yeah, so that's the the back to tanks are just like items they have. Let's see how many I have. I have one more in my inventory there. And it's uh, basically just a mini healing whenever I want it. I just hit B on my keyboard and I get healing. Fortunately though, I also know where every secret is. Actually I don't, but uh, let's just say I will. So if I decide to destroy this and go down there, this would actually lead to the exact same place I went to underneath the elevator. Just another way of getting there. And I got a battery and some thermal detonators, which is... What fucking key is that? That's zero. It's a very intuitive key to press when I need thermal detonators. My god, it's like... Good zero. Not particularly accurate weapon. The gunplay may not be exactly intuitive, but it's it's still a pretty good game, in my opinion. Alright, here's a robot. Actually, I don't know, let me try to try using now the default weapon is like even worse. At least I might as well like spray them with a volume of fire. There you go. I got him. And here we got some light amplification goggles. That's my binoculars, it's not light amplification goggles. Alright, let's quick save it here because we're good. Alright, so the schematics show that the base is divided into three sections. I'm actually not entirely sure if there's an actual key for this, but I can press enter and use the items like this. So here we are exploring this dark ass place. Apparently I can't kill that thing, or maybe I need to crouch and do it, but it's so fast! And here's a secret area, guys. It's very secret. But I honestly need the health, so... Alright, I think we don't need this anymore. God damn it. It's so nice being in this nice little tight quarter. Oh yeah, so the shadows. We're gonna talk about the shadows in this game. I pointed them, um, them out earlier and they're like, um... Fucking kidding. I'm dead. Yeah, I just, I, I can't be mobile there. Uh, just... Oh, great. I think if I load, I'm gonna be back here. Okay. Not so far back. 
Uh, I just used the back to tank, which I didn't want to do. Because that was not the item I had selected at the moment. Alright. Uh, so the shadows are actually something interesting. So the shadows are essentially, uh, kind of like... I, I don't know the, what the word is for it. I could see over here. Like, more video. It's called, uh, I'll do... Apparently it's not showing up because I have visual mods. I'm gonna do this. You'd think I'd hit one of them. This is very difficult to use, by the way, guys. Hope you feel my pain right now. Maybe the bear pistol does get gas, I'm just not using it right. I have to use it for my cover, it's weird. Uh, so the, the, they're like, I forgot, they're called Vertex, uh, I think, shadows. But they're janky as fuck in this game. Like, they're just like, uh, they look very, I guess, jagged? They, they look a little bit better because it's a higher resolution. And I, I'm also Looks forcing... Like an imperial code. Oh, here we go. Where's the imperial code? Let's look at the TV screen. Ah, oh, there's a guy there. There's a guy there. There's a guy there. I think that's actually two two cameras just cycling through. That's it. What's uh? So there there's um. We got a code here. I don't know where that that code is though. Or maybe I maybe just blind. Entirely possible. I don't, oh yeah, here it is. Okay, so I I totally didn't look at this. So it's basically like a box with a nipple on it. So there you go. So we just opened some crap up right now. What? You don't know. But you will figure it out very soon. I feel like this is a case where I need my laser. It's not even a laser, is it? It's a prayer pistol. I should just go just do a full yes, Calcutar and run. No lightsaber, only prayer pistol. Oh, oh my god, there's fucking <gasps> all over my ass. I gotta wait for them to stand still, but even when they stand still, I can't hit them. Like, this one just went right between them. We got 47 HP there. They're here somewhere, trust me. They're always waiting. Alright, and this goes, brings us back to the Jan room. Let's see what Jan's up to. Hey Jan, what, how's it going? These are some really shitty ass terminals. I'm getting some good stuff, Kyle. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I can see. Kyle. Kyle. All right. Yeah, she just whispers to you. After a little while, she gets kind of sick of your shit. Did I open up the supply crate in this room? I, I need to see. Actually, it's kind of important. Oh yeah, that's right. It had the it had the light amplification goggles in there. Okay, that one I was pretty sure I missed, but it's unlike I hit him. Look at this guy. Okay. It, every time I use this weapon, it's just. Causing me issues, so I'm not gonna use it anymore. We're going Bray Pistol, guys. I just decided this is clearly the superior weapon of choice. Oh, that guy, he knows! He knows the str he knows how to dodge! That was like the final insult. He just hits me and then fucking. My god. I've never seen. He's like, he was like the ninja of like the. The stormtroopers. All right. Kind of getting tired of uh, this. All right, here we go. I hate this pistol so much. Oh no, no, I hate this weapon so much. Cause it's like this is your spray weapon when there's like a corridor full of stormtroopers. All right. So here we have a nice little room here. Ah, uh, so we came from Blue Door. I'll just quick save it here. So we need to uh, input the it's offline. Okay. It's offline. Apparently it's offline. That's a turret. Luckily this bear pistol is accurate as fuck. You can see why I was kind of shooting that from range. Right, I think we're gonna just kind of go under it. Oh my god, I actually hit somebody. It's a Christmas miracle. Hey, 
let's see some ID. Ah, you know, this is going actually pretty good. Just Braille Pistol everything. You know, Kyle's a smart man. He knows. He knows the limitations of this universe. And he's not some kind of scrub that, like, sprays his weapons. I should play more like Kyle Katarn. But well, that's all I know. I don't know it's, as I said, it's been a while since I started this game. I have beaten this on Jedi Master. Oh, uh, uh, that's like, that just went up there. It has a bit of inaccuracy. Look at this guy. He thinks he can hit me from over there, and he's probably right. Oh my sweet god, he just kind of made it right up here. How did anybody shoot this anything in this in this universe? Is my question. You feel like a true stormtrooper. Alright, here we have the server room. Oh, and apparently Surrounded. my bullets bounce back at me. Surrounded. I have to charge all the way. Okay, this is what this weapon is literally amazing. I'm gonna use it for now. Sorry, yeah, as I said, I haven't played this game for several years, so I forgot the strategy of going through this, and this actually seems to be working pretty well. Actually, to be honest, I'm pretty sure I had to save scum through the entire early game, but you know what? This is working pretty well. All right, let's see. What's this panel do? Jan, I'm gonna need your help. There's an access terminal here, but it's encoded. I'm on my way. Oh wait, is she gonna die? I think I'm gonna have to help her out. Kyle, I'm pinned down. Someone there. Get back here and give me a hand. <laughs> the minute I switch that that weapon, it's just a, a fucking shit show. Oh wait, I'm back here again. All right. I should quick save. Jan, I'm gonna need your help. There's an access terminal here, but it's encoding. This game is not very good about loads. Get back here and give me a hand. I'll, I'll never be able to hit, shoot a moving target with these weapons. I'm just letting you guys know that right now. Let's see some ID. I can't hold out much longer. Thanks. Thanks, Jen. I'm on my way, Jen. Chill out. you long enough now to break that code lead the way clearly she doesn't know about the run around uh, side to side strategy which seems to make you immune to these weapons that's why we use the braille pistol all right so Jan's now going to be actually useful instead of just kind of dying definitely needs more ammo for this Come on over, Jim. I know, take your time, it's fine. Wow. Now this looks interesting. Apparently the light source is right here or something. Piece of cake. Was there a shadow reacting to my gunfire? That should get you where you need to go. I'm going to keep at this and see what I can find out. Her shadow's reacting to my gunfire. Actually, no, it's the light source, that's why. That's actually not too bad. Uh, right. It's really sad that any of these guys can just kind of solo me and I can't do anything about it. Whatever. Uh, I guess, uh, I, yeah, yeah, I guess this is a good place to leave it off. I hope you guys are enjoying. And uh, see you next episode. Bye.